a sports pregame show. Hello and welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. We're glad to have you with us on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Golden State Warriors going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. We've seen some really solid play from this Bucks team recently. They must be satisfied with the way things have gone for them over the first few months. They've played with confidence and composure and have won more than their share of games. And one of the dynamic players we'll be seeing tonight is Draymond Green, so instrumental in the Warriors championship run in 15. Shaq, he's a guy who can do it all on both ends of the floor. He got great speed, strong enough to guard any position from the one through the five. He has great defensive instincts. That's why he got second in defensive player of the year vote. Yeah, he was second? second. Wow, wow. You know, but he turned himself into a three-point shooter, which he was not in college. Then all of a sudden, this guy's shooting threes, knocking down. He, he averaged actually one per game, Ernie. That's an incredible accomplishment for a guy who really wasn't a jump shooter. You have a year like that, and then you've got to follow it up. You yeah. see Draymond Green following that uh, successful 2015 year up with a better uh, better year coming up? You know, hopefully after winning the championship, he doesn't get cute. Hopefully he says, you know what, I'm a defensive guy, I'm a defensive stopper. This is where I make my name. Even though I was hitting those threes, I'm not really a three-point shooter. I'm a defensive guy. I got to shut people down. Being cute's not bad, though. Now with the uh, tip-off coming up shortly, we go courtside to Kevin Harlan. Kev. I wouldn't know nothing about cute. I'm sexy. <laughs> edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. Today's game continues this Golden State Warriors homestand. This game's going to be a challenge for them. Facing one of the top tier teams in the league, they'll have to be at their best to steal a win here. Yeah, and, and they're coming in this game also looking for payback after dropping the last one. They play each other just twice this season, and they certainly do not want to be swept. And you know how it is, Greg. You tend to remember the losses more than the wins. What might have gone differently when you've lost the game. You feel a lot better when you can answer back with a win, but you got to earn it. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. They've got Chris Middleton, Teague out there with Holiday, and then there's Antetokounmpo, and it's Lopez in at the five down low. And he bangs down the one-hander. Two very easy points right there for yeah, sure. He, he'll take those all day. And Brooke Lopez, guys, started the season as the starting center for the Nets last year, but it didn't end up that way. Curry passes to Green. Barbosa for three. No good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And even in hostile territory as they were that day, they had no jitters at all. I mean, the confidence kept growing as the shots kept falling. And they were falling big time. I mean, from the top to the bottom of that roster, everybody was locked, loaded, and spraying jumpers. And it's the Warriors ball. Four-point game. Lopez ended up coming off the bench for the Nets for a stretch last season. There was a lot of debate, Clark, if that was the right role for him. Kevin, clearly there were differing opinions because as soon as it happened, every GM called Brooklyn up to see if Lopez was available. Middleton drives in. 
three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. This game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. And really, I just felt like they didn't compete, particularly on the backboard. Probably their weakest area in that game. Well, they weren't doing their work early. They weren't carving out space for themselves under the glass. And guys just weren't working hard enough, in my estimation. And Green gets it to go. And there's got to be some defensive help there. I mean, the size difference is just too great. Teague against Curry. Puts it up from 17. Lopez, no up. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. And remember, you go back to when Steph Curry was in college, more of a shooting guard at Davidson, but, but he's worked relentlessly to not only improve his ball handling, but his vision. And now, all of a sudden, he's one of the most elusive ball handlers in the NBA. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. And Curry, certainly Clark, a magician with the ball in his hands. He can really supply the terrific handle, razzle-dazzle moves, yeah. crossovers. He has it all. He sure does, but on occasion he can be a little loose with it and turn it over some. That's been a focus both by him and the coaching staff. Attack, but do it with precision. Trills it from outside. Curry's got six. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Lopez a screen. Middleton drives in. The wide open look here for Lopez. And he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Green. His last outing, he had eight points. Barbosa for three. And another three for Golden State. Just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Teague with the ball. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. Here's Curry on his side of the Kumbo, making his last shot. Let's it fly. Barbosa's shot is off. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Here's on to Takumbo, and that comes off the assist by Jeff T. On to Takumbo's got his second basket of the game. Golden State's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Holiday against Curry. They double team Curry. For three, Barbosa, another three for Golden State. There is no way, no way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? Now here is Holiday. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. He feeds it to Middleton. That drops. Middleton's got his first points of the game. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. Here's a good out. Following the basket by Chris Middleton. Down to five on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. And the shot is long. The Bucs have gone six of nine, shooting it well. He kicks it to Antetokounmpo. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with chop that one-hand tomahawk slam? Here's Barbosa after the basket by Milwaukee. From deep three-point range, and the rebound goes to Lopez. And just because you can make it from outside doesn't mean you need to live there. Not that far out anyway, Greg. I mean, he can work for a better shot than that. So they take the lead. Eight points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Offensively, 
He can be the engine that drives them at any given time. Watching Brooke Lopez, he uh, all the time contributes in every category. It's amazing the number of Clark, uh, ways he affects the game. Deadly with the shot. Tremendous touch back to the basket. Moves facing up. Makes free throws. Good offensive rebounder. Capable passer. Oh, he just makes things happen. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And, and talking about Lopez, he does clean the glass on the offensive end. He was 12th in offensive rebounds last year. However, he was 44th in defensive rebounds. That's one important area he definitely has to work on. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Spates checked in for Bogut. Harrison Barnes comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Leandro Barbosa. Now here's Barnes. Nine points last game. Green, the screen. Some nice passing by Golden State here. And again, it's the Warriors missing. You know, getting back to Lopez, how good is it to have a guy with his offensive package also be a near top 10 shot blocker for you? That's what he was last season and several seasons before that. He's an all-star talent if he can just stay on the court and stay healthy. Well, I tell you what, it's easy to get spoiled watching this fellow. I mean, he just makes it look so simple. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. David West, he's checked in for Green. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Parker's checked in. Free throw, good. Portis. The Milwaukee Bucks ended last season 41 up and 41 down. A perfect 500 mark, and they were the epitome, Clark, of average at the end of the season, and, and as you can see, even during it. Well, they're a young team, but at one point, 17 and 17, also had an 11 11 record against the East, and 6 and 6 against the West. Now here's Curry. 23 points for him the last game against Phoenix. And equally as impressive, the playmaking. Just sensational. The way he was seeing the court and making the game easy for his teammates. Here's Holiday. Here's Portis. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Warriors trail by seven. And, and the Bucs were average last season. I, I mean, they were 17 and 17. Also, 7 and 7 at home, 10 and 10 on the road, 5 and 5 in the games leading up to that. So in every measurable way, they were 500. Now here's Curry. He's got six. Trying to get back on track. Barnes can't get it to go. Tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Holiday goes in. The kick out to T. And a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. Teague's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You know, just thinking back to that Milwaukee factoid again, I mean, the odds that we'll ever see something like that happen again are minuscule. I mean, that team was just destined to end up 41-41. and 41. Timeout called the Warriors. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Henson comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo, and it's Mayo in for Drew Holiday. Warriors trail by 10. Curry kicks to Spates, the dish to Porter. Spates with a screen on Mayo. It's Curry outside. Can't get it to go. The Bucks go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. And, and the last time 
these teams met, it was a walk in the park, and everybody got in on the act. Their bench was spectacular in that win. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, the starters were extremely happy to get some rest and let the bench guys do the heavy lifting. Definitely a feel-good win for the team. Otto Porter hailing from a family of basketball players. His mom, All-State in 85. His three uncles won state titles. Deep basketball roots. And how about the fact several of his cousins also won state championships, although Otto is the only one in the family to reach the NBA. And he knocks down the first one. You know, getting back to Otto Porter's basketball family, it really prepped him to compete. Your family is the first place you learn to navigate and win battles in competition. And that goes for sports and life. The Bucks making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. And Porter drops them both. And talking about Porter, he certainly has worked hard to improve upon his weaknesses. That's a trait that's often instilled in a man at a young age. And he's not an explosive athlete, but his motor and want to compensate for that. Now here is Holiday. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Five to shoot. Here's Portis, and it's tonight. Oh, and here comes Barnes all alone. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something you're right. Extra on it. Man, I, I got to pick my jaw <laughs> off the floor after that one, guys. They're forcing the ball inside. And it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Now here's West. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Spates sets a screen. Porter kicks to Barnes. Get the shot. But they get it back. Moves back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Now here is Holiday. And there's the pass to Portis. It's rebounded by West. Warriors trail by six. 157 left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Barnes. The shot's good on the assist by West. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Parker outside. And Henson kicks to Parker. Outside Holiday. Mayo against Porter. And stolen by Barnes. Now the Warriors moving it up. Throws down the breakaway jam. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Ahead. Knocked loose. Parker with the steal. Here's Holiday to the inside. Henson dishes to Parker. 47 seconds left to play here in the first. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Curry's shot is good. The Bucks trail. Here's Holiday. West with the steal. One on one fast break. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Well, he went way up top there. Some serious hang time on his way to the rim. Holiday up top, guarded by Curry. Curry against Holiday. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Warriors running again. That's how you make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Floor is open. Take care of business. Always an advantage when you can get out in the open floor. You get much better rhythm offensively 
And this lead, I think, is headed up. Check it out. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, told us about his comfort stretching the floor. When we're five, six feet outside that three-point line, if I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, you know, I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. Uh, I mean, he is just a, an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, 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 I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, stats wise I, I just think that from an intensity standpoint, their defense has really been the key. It's been the catalyst as they've been able to disrupt their opponent's offense. Absolutely. I mean, they've been much more intense defensively. And their defense not only has been intense, but it's been swarming and saran wrap-like. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Filling out the wings, it's Middleton and Antetokounmpo. Brooke Lopez is out there with Portis, and it's Teague in at the point guard. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just from a historical standpoint, it was one of the best ever. Porter kicks to Green, pass to Barbosa. It's Porter outside, rebound Milwaukee. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, Clark. No doubt about it. Middleton drives in. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Middleton's got four points this quarter. And for the Warriors last year, they would end the season with 67 wins. That number, Clark, time for the sixth best win total in NBA history. And my guess is only a few people saw it coming. I mean, and as the season wore on, it became more and more apparent that the Warriors were for real, but it took a while for people to accept that fact. Just three to shoot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Boy, I tell you, the Warriors did something that no other team had ever done before. They ended the regular season ranked first in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense. Essentially, they were the best offensive and defensive team in the league. Remarkable. And the first one drops. Last season for the Warriors really dominated from beginning to end to lead the league and Greg both offensive and defensive efficiency. And Kevin, a lot of people knew the Warriors were good at offense. I mean, but they've been equally as good defensively over the past few seasons, kind of flying under the radar for whatever reason. Not the case going forward. Well, Clark, the Bucks were much improved on the road last season, going 18 and 23. Yeah, they were very competitive. This young team fought hard and rarely found themselves out of games on the road, which is a good sign for the future. Holiday against Barbosa. Screened by Bogut. Barbosa passes to Porter. Feeds it to Bogut. From downtown, Porter, no luck. And for the Bucks, who only won five road games in 2014, last year's mark of 18 is a huge step forward. Still, they had problems last year as they had an 11-game road losing streak towards the end of the season. Well, I tell you, the Bucks are taking steps in the right direction on the road. The problem is the franchise hasn't had a winning record on the road since two.
2001. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And, and you know, you hear everybody talking about Giannis's potential. I mean, look at the athleticism coupled with his measurables. I mean, that is just off the charts. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Now here is Barbosa. He's coming off a 13-point game against Phoenix. Green left side. That's good. Green's got his second basket of the night. For Giannis, it's not just his physique and length. Uh, Clark, he moves insanely well for a guy that size. Yeah, Giannis also might not be done growing, Kevin. Right. How scary is that? I mean, you know, he could be a legit seven-foot shooting guard when it's all said and done. That would be something to see. Mm. Porter in the corner. Back to Igudala. Kicks it to Bogut. Barbosa issues to Green. Rocket six. Shot from the wing. The rebound by Middleton. That's one he knows he should have drained. Passes to Lopez. Holiday against Porter. And Holiday kicks to Honda Takumba. And the pass to Portis. Fires for three. Warriors with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. Yeah, got find some. You're right. Iguodala kicks to Green. Let's the free fly. Onto Takumbo pulls it in. On to Takumbo. has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The shot by Holiday, no good. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. Yeah, the defense is all about disrupting timing and spacing, and, and what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Right side out of the Kumbo. Puts up the baby hook and off the glass. That one's good. On to Takumbo. has got five points in the quarter. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Barbosa against Howard. Barbosa passes to Iguodala. Green, the screen. Iguodala dishes to Green. They're outside. The shot misses. And Milwaukee the other way now. Outside, out of the Kumbo. There's the triple. It's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Barbosa kicks to Green. Middleton against Porter. That's short off the rim. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his first foul. Steph Curry's checked in for Leandro Barbosa. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. And Middleton the bucket on the assist by Holiday. And now an eight-point Milwaukee lead. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Now Porter, who's coming off a 13-point game against Phoenix. Six to shoot. Will it go? The long distance wins Bill. Porter's got seven. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Holiday with it. Now guarded by Porter. Hunter Takumbo against Porter. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Had the space there, but it's offline. Bucks leading by seven. 
and what a first year it was for Steve Kerr and the Warriors. It was the best debut as a new coach ever. 67 wins. He also established a franchise win total in his first year. Curry against Middleton. Curry dishes to Porter. Outside Holiday. The shot misses. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry passes to Porter. Outside Green. Golden State moving the ball around. It's Curry with the drive. And he gets the bucket. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. And guys, Steph Curry, the rare point guard who's almost as effective playing off the ball as he is on it. And the Warriors have really emphasized that as he's evolved as a player, bringing in a lot of playmakers who can set him up coming off screens. The free throw drops for Curry. And speaking of Curry playing off the ball in the pass, Clark, we'd see him guarding shooting guards defensively. Some said trying to hide him against lesser offensive players. Well, I think guarding two guards gave him a chance maybe to save some energy for the offensive end, but recently Steve Kerr has had him on point guards more. You want your best players taking the challenge at both ends of the court. Right, when you take a look at John Henson, you see one thing, length. Yeah, a lot of it, too. I mean, he measures 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan wow. at the 2012 NBA Combine. His standing reach is actually three and a half inches greater than that of Anthony Davis. Wow. Wow, that's right. The first one falls. And talking about Henson, obviously the great length helps him as a shot blocker. The young center is also very quick off his feet. He's averaged around two and a half blocks a game over the past two seasons. He's also been contributing some as a rebounder, though really needs to add some weight to kind of take it to that next step. Henson hits them both. Getting back to Henson, last year was an odd one for him. I mean, he was starting. Then in February, he was benched in favor of Zaza Pachui. That might be a hint to Henson that he needs to put a little more work into his game to maintain a place in the rotation. Curry kicks it to West. Here's Barnes, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why, I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Teague against Curry. Tries again. Teague can't hit. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Curry with it. Now Mayo defending. And a wide open look for Igudawa. Not three off the mark. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Hansen sets a screen for Mayo. Jumper off the screen. The Warriors pull it in. Curry is inside. Teague covering and count the basket. He was fouled and he's going to the line for one more. The Warriors have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Drew Holiday's checked in for Milwaukee. That's good from Stephen Curry. Well, Milwaukee last year became just the ninth team in NBA history to go from Greg being the worst in the league to a playoff team. Uh, unbelievable what they accomplished. And they had a tough matchup in the first round with, with the playoff season goals, however. Things didn't go well, but they did get some valuable experience from that effort. 
Warriors trail by three. He dishes it to Spates. Iguodala outside. Pick by West. Down to five on the shot clock. Iguodala kicks to Barnes. And again, no good by Golden State. Bucks leading by three. Outside Holiday. One fifty-eight left in the first half of the game. Mayo kicks to Holiday. The shot from twenty feet away will not go. This is off the front iron. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And they definitely have the edge in those fast break points. Greg, they sure have. I mean, maybe it hasn't helped put them in front, but they're clearly better off playing up-tempo basketball. And how about Harrison Barnes, the Black Falcon? I mean, he was a high school phenom in Ames, Iowa, and a lottery pick back in 2012. Uh, after two seasons at Carolina. Remember also in high school he was a teammate of Dougie McBuckets. The free throw off from Barnes. Harrison Barnes of course went to North Carolina. Grew up as a huge fan of former Tar Heel Michael Jordan. Yeah you know interesting his mother started taping Jordan's games on the VCR years before he was born. His given name Harrison Bryson Jordan Barnes. How about that for I a fact? Did, I didn't know that. Nor did I. <laughs> and here is Curry. 15 points in the game. West dishes to Curry. Iguodala against Parker. Let's go. And it's Iguodala missing. Milwaukee's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Here's Holiday powered down with both hands. And guys, right now the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Mayo with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Anadokounmpo setting the pick for Mayo. Buries it from three-point range. Mayo's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Iguodala kicks it to West. Here's Curry with the three. The shot's good on the assist by West. West has got three assists now in this one. And they're just raining threes on both ends. Boy, I love the answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back with my own triple. Outside Holiday. Here's on to Takumbo. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Bucks lead by three. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kevin, we have Brooke Lopez with us. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great group of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Brooke, thank you very much. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis and Tedekumpo. He had 18 points, two assists, and eight rebounds. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They were clearly a better shooting team. Their play calling and execution were on point. It wasn't a dominant performance, but you did get an idea of how efficient they can be. They'll need to continue that kind of shooting if they want to pull away in the second half. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? They need to turn up the defense intensity. They let the game get taken to them instead of the other way around. 
Coming out in the second half, they got to play with a chip on their shoulder, Ernie. You know, don't get pushed around on D. It's payback time. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game.